Something I can help you with, Chuck? I was, uh, was just thinking. You were just thinking? Anyone ever invited you to church before? Nope. Never been asked. Sorry. It's okay. Not everybody sees me. Not everybody cares. No. I see you. Good place to start. You gonna be here for a little bit? At this meeting. Always here, Chuck. Park Grove Community Church has lost its pastor and its way and is closing its doors unless it reinvents itself despite itself with the help of Chuck. The Committee it's just always been a big turnoff for me, you know, those well, Bible thumping evangelism guys. Evangelism just... is not a dirty word. If you will listen to what I'm okay, to. Okay, all right. Well, then let's listen. Evangelism. Yeah, no, sounds pretty dirty to me. Listen, just give me my own space and my own time. If you wait and... for the right time, it may never come. We're supposed to tell people about how Okay, they... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but there's nothing inviting about telling somebody what to believe. Believe you me. Oh, well, that is not evangelism. That is just... Hey guys. Rude. Hey Chuck, Chuck, uh, Chuck, Chuck. Yeah. Hey, what's your opinion on the whole E-word? Emu? Um, I'm weirdly okay with it. Emu? Daniel thinks that evangelism is unnecessary. I never said that. Oh, you came pretty close. Okay, Mrs. Beasley, What look. were you saying if you weren't saying it's unnecessary? I'm merely stating you said that it is don't. an awkward thing. This is it's not awkward. the kind of thing we need to No, but day old means a day cheaper. Day cheaper means more money in our pockets. But they don't taste as good. Well, nobody knows if they're going to be fresh or not. I don't know. Why, why does this stuff keep showing up? The rummage sale is long over. It's like our members never listen. Hey, look at me. I'm just moving stuff around. People are still donating. We can't throw it away. It wouldn't be nice. Can't we? I mean, it's, it's, hey. hey, hey, good to see you today. I think it's time we get this place cleaned up. Let's get on the ball. Let's get it going, get it going, get it going. Try to find a place for that where there's not other stuff already in that place. Okay? Hello to you too, Mr. Riley. We'll keep it till the next sale. <laughs> no. So ridiculous. No, it's just no, so Daniel. ridiculous. <laughs> Evangelism is just being passionate about your faith, telling other people okay, what you believe. Okay, but it doesn't roll and off the tongue for me like it does for you. I'm sorry. Sometimes God is subtle, and sometimes God puts it right in your face. Are you okay, Mr. Chuck? Mm, yeah. Sorry, I'm fine. I'm just thinking. You're just thinking? It's a good place to start. Where's a good place to start? Uh, well, since Mrs. Beasley and Daniel already brought it up, let's take a look at this thing called evangelism. No, I am sorry, Chuck, but you are not, not taking us off task this week. I have the agenda right here. Does the agenda include evangelism? Sit down. I, I don't think we're ready for your agenda. Daniel, what do you think evangelism is? All right, you asked. Oh, here we go. What? You need to sit down? Have a seat. Repent, all you sinners! Sinners? Have you heard from the word of God today? Have you, Miss Beasley? Okay. What is the Have matter you with you? Oh, all right, right. Just, yeah. okay, let him, finish. Let him finish. Okay, how about this? Now, all you viewers at home, I want you to just take your hand and place it on top of your television set. Right now, go ahead and do it right now. Feel the power of Jesus coming through you. Feel him trickling through you as you make your checks out to Daniel Sanchez, oh, courtesy of sanchezministries.org. Really? No, you know Jesus what? doesn't up, trinkle. Hold up, that I does asked not him to share, remember? Okay, all right. He's got more. How about this? Is he leaving? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. He's gone. Is he coming back? Is it over? Is it over? Ding dong. There is no Come telling. In. Oh, it's goodness. Hello, ma'am. Nope. Hello, sir. That's the one. How are you? Um, Do you have a few hours sure. this fine afternoon for me to debate with you how my knowledge of the Bible is vastly superior to your knowledge of the Bible, well, or how my church is better than your church, well, or how I'm... my religion can unravel the vast mysteries of the universe? Sure. They are vast. Yeah. And did I also mention that this decoder ring comes free with the purchase of this Bible, uh -huh. which is made of authentic goat skin? Feel the goat skin, Chuck. I don't know. Feel the goat skin. 
Feel the goat skin. You Feel have the goat moved skin. into the realm of the absurd. Okay. Yes, you have. <laughs> All right. Well, absurd. Well, that's what I think about when I think of evangelism. Can I have the free decoder ring? <sighs> he wasn't even close. Well, I just don't get it then. All right. What uh, uh, Daniel has so bravely shown us is what not to do. Right? And Mrs. Beasley's right. That is not evangelism. Uh, but Daniel's also shown us that... Um, there's a lot of baggage that comes with evangelism, our misunderstanding of the word evangelism. But uh, I think we can redeem the old E word, right? I think we need to redeem the old E word. Well, it won't be easy. It won't be easy. First, I have to understand what evangelism is. And is not. Yeah, and how it affects how we do church. So, um, I already picked on Daniel. Um, Glenda, evangelism, what, do, what does it mean? Evangelism is sharing the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Very good. Show off. And, and just as important, the how, when, and why of evangelism are crucial for us to understand it. And, and, and I think we can do so if we examine everything in the church closely. All right. Do you guys remember how hospitality wasn't just about, um, you know, greeting people? Uh, during the fellowship hour, right? Hospitality begins at the curb. What's now, in the same you? way, evangelism isn't just about inviting someone to church. Ah, there it is. Let's call this the evangelical lens. Man, not, not another metaphorical rabbit hole. Spare me. Okay, no, on this, no please. tangents. I promise. All right, the evangelical lens. Well, this sounds like a good name for a TV show, right? I DVR it. What? <laughs> Next yes. Evangelical Lens yes. with your host. Yeah. That's, but that's a rabbit hole, and we're not talking about that, right? What we are talking about is uh, looking at everything in the church under this lens. All right, we call this confessional time for a reason, right? So here's a confession. Um, I'm only here at Park Grove because my wife comes. There, I said it. We both want our daughter to be here. And once I started getting into this, like, self-examination, you know, sharing our faith business, it just, it really, 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 ugh, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> but actually, you know, being here with all these new friends, you know, the more I start to think about it, aside from this current subject, it's actually starting to feel right. It's different, you know? Okay, um, listen, didn't... God created the church to be a witness, right? So in that sense, this is, it's all, everything, it's all about evangelism, right? I don't get it. How does a word that means sharing the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, get so twisted? People twisted it. Yeah, people you don't even know trying to sell salvation. Yep. Well, how do you sell a gift? Right, you give it away. And it can never be anything other than an open invitation. But with zero strings attached, no guilt trip. If we were to look at it through the evangelical lens, what do you think the answer would be? Evangelism starts with relationships. There you go. Building trust and really caring about others. I do not know what is so difficult to understand. I mean, I've invited lots of people to church. You just tell them about Jesus, what you think about God, and boom, home run, <laughs> like that. <laughs> what, did I say something that's funny to you? Yeah. <laughs> Ha ha, what do you mean ha ha? I'm sorry, it's just not that easy. I'm pretty sure it is, ha ha. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm sorry, okay, okay, okay. You, Mr. Riley, Hannah, hop up here, come up here real quick for me. I want you to uh, uh, imagine that you've never met. Fine, I can do that, it's fine. All right, now Mr. Riley, I want you to share your faith with Hannah. Hold it, what? It's share my faith, yeah. share just like that? Like I, like I don't know her and I'm saying that? Yeah, to no, her? just yeah, just talk about what's important. Right? Just like, but I don't know her, and I'm saying that. Sure. Okay. Um. <clears throat> um w would you like to come to our church? We have a very nice sanctuary. Have you ever seen our stained glass windows? Also, bring your wallet because we could sure use the cash. Okay, at least wait till they come to church before they the cash. It's in the book, which goes back to my This whole authentic thing makes me uncomfortable. I think it's weird. I just want to go to church and not be bothered. Okay, fine, fine. Maybe I need to rethink that. I don't know. You know, I know, I don't. On second thought, what is there to rethink? I know what makes me comfortable, I know what makes me uncomfortable. Oh, 
okay, 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 all right. I asked Mr. Riley to share, remember? He asked me to share, remember? Ooh, we are saucy today, aren't we? All right. Um, I want you to try it again, only um, this time I want you to think about how it's all developing relationships. Hello. My name is Mr. Riley. I think this place is um, pretty special. Uh, because you love Jesus. Because I love Jesus. Um, and stained glass windows, which I would think that somebody your, your age might, might really appreciate them a lot. It's been a really special place for me too when I visit. Yeah. Um, I don't know why exactly. Uh, you know, maybe it is the stained glass windows. I, I do stare at them a lot. Probably. So, yeah. Probably. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. It was pretty great. good. It was pretty good. Uh, it was it was authentic and genuine. Thank you. And maybe next time, you know, you can uh, transition from stained glass windows to more talking about your faith in Jesus. But overall, very good. Well, you know, this shouldn't be something that we have to do. Mm -hmm. This should be something we can't help doing. That's it. Like when you get a new puppy or grandparents showing pictures of their grandchildren. Puppy? If our lives are, are so transformed by our relationship with God, then, then we're compelled to share that with others. Well, I sh shouldn't tell you what to believe. My experiences should inspire you. Now that I can get on board with. I remember my Aunt Phyllis died my last year of junior high. And my mom was devastated, and I felt terrible, and I was crying all the time. And that summer, I went away to church camp, and I sang in the church choir, and I had just all kinds of fun. And I think, I think that's the first time I heard God singing to me. It was like being wrapped in this warm blanket. It was comforting and I needed that. So connecting with the church choir, it's like coming home for me. It's like being embraced in God's arms, wrapped in that warm blanket. That's the, the first time I've ever shared that with anyone. Because you trust us. And now, I try to share my faith through music. Yeah, I mean, that, that offertory song that you sang, it moved me. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if I told you this, but I actually shared it with some coworkers. Thank you. That's it. I mean, that's evangelism. You shared what was important to you, right? How the gospel touched you. And, and you were compelled to tell someone else about it, in a sense, inviting them to come and share in that experience. I did, didn't I? Thanks, Clindy. <laughs> There's joy and passion in each and every one of us here, and we're, we're finally starting to share that because we're learning to trust. Excellent point, Jeff. I'll eat a donut to that. So, <laughs> now a good time for me to bring up the agenda. Donut, he's not eating. You want to write a song? You know, sharing genuine experiences, coming from that place of caring for each other. That's it. Just like that. Inviting others to experience the love of God and Jesus Christ for themselves. You should show that to Mr. Riley. Because evangelism isn't something we have to do. It's something we get to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 